Amanda here from createyourfuture.co. So today, guys, I have an exciting video. I've got some tips and tricks on how you can manifest anything you want in your reality. Guys, it's so exciting. Um, I was thinking about it today as I was going to an appointment, um, you know, about how some things, you know, manifest, like the big things, they manifest and some things don't. And I can see where, you know, in, in at least when I create and manifest, where I fall short. So I'm going to give you some of my best practices, tips and tricks, and let you know how you can make sure that you do get your manifestation every single time. Guys, just before we dive into it, you know we're giving away a free course, how to find your blocks to manifest anything fast. Um, it's not even so much about finding your blocks. It's about creating a really good mental diet and getting your story straight and clear, which is incredibly important to manifesting. It is a free course that I created. It is in the link in the description below. Definitely check it out. And guys, People are getting success. They're getting success with our daily manifestation journal. Um, they are available on Amazon if you like. If not, you can always do it with a pen and paper too. It's basically geared to have you create your intentions, your goals every single day of what you want to create. So you can do it for your, you know, just the small list of things to manifest, or you can do it towards your big goals. So um, definitely check out, it's on Amazon, um, link in the description below. Um, we did get a success stories coming in about it, how people are manifesting what they want from it. So yeah, it's really exciting. So guys, okay, let's dive into it. So so I was thinking today, I was thinking, and there was something big that I was looking to manifest. And, you know, that manifestation didn't really come through, which, you know, actually wasn't a huge deal to me because I thought about it. And I think one of the biggest things that, um, you know, that we need to do to manifest or that we don't do when we try to manifest is getting clear on what we want. We need to get clear on what we want and know what the outcome is that we want. And we can't go back and forth, back and forth. So, you know, if we're, you know, hot and cold about, well, do I want this? Do I not want this? We have to be completely clear. So like, for instance, if you're manifesting a specific person, right? And you're like, well, you know what? I want him, but I don't want, or her, but I don't want how they were before, but I, I do want them, but then they were like this. And so when we're doing that, we're not clear on what we want. So we need to sit down and go, okay, this is what I want. I want a relationship, okay, with this person, okay. And now how do I want that relationship to be? Where I would start is listing everything that is your current reality, okay, and taking that list and going, okay, I'm going to keep that, I'm going to keep that, but I'm going to change this, change this, change this, change this, and move everything over to the next column. So you want a relationship that's committed, you want them to spend time with you, and then everything where they were falling short, you rewrite it into your new list and to your new, um, you know, your new picture of what you want your new relationship to look like, right? So you've got to have a clear goal in mind, you have to have a clear picture image, you have to have a clear understanding about what you want in your life and how you want it to show up. Because if and also you've got to want it, we can't be like half in half out. Now, this isn't normally like when you say like, you know, you can have those manifestations where, you know, you think about it, and then it shows up and you're like, I barely thought of that. There was no resistance there. I'm talking about for the big manifestations where there's resistance, you've got to go through all of the stories that are resistance and change them into what you want. So even not being clear on what you want or being fully committed to what you want is going to be a form of resistance, right? There's going to be some story that needs to be changed there. Okay. So once we get clear on what we want, it's important to be clear because it's like putting your address in a GPS. Okay. So let's say we're going to a restaurant, but we don't put an address in the GPS. We're turning all over the place. We don't have a clear goal of where we're going, but if we put an address in the GPS, then we're like, Oh, okay. We're going there. We need to go straight, make a right, make a left, and we're going to get there in 20 minutes. So you've got a clear goal, plan, aim, and intention. Um, you know, you're clear on what you want. And when you're clear on what you want, okay, it's easier to stay on your mental diet because whenever you have a thought throughout the day, your question is going to be, okay, let's say we're thinking about Jerry and we want him to be our SP, but then we think, oh, you know what, but he's always busy. And then you think about what your end goal is where being in a relationship with Jerry and him having all the time in the world for you, the thought that he's always busy is not in line with your end goal. So you're clear that you want him to spend all the time in the world with you. And then when you think, oh, but he's always busy, that thought needs to be changed. So it's easier to stay on your mental diet when you have your clear outcome 
in, in front of you that you're like, oh, he's always, no, no, he always makes time for me. You know, actually, I'm surprised at how much time he actually has, <laughs> you know. Um, so being clear on what you want is going to be able to help you decipher throughout the day what thoughts you want to keep and what thoughts you don't want to keep. Because all in all, your thoughts create your reality. They do one of two things. They either propel you towards what your goal is, right? Or they hinder you from that. They block you from that. Okay. And I use the word block resistance, um, it, anything it limiting belief. Um, it doesn't matter what you call it. Your thought is either getting you in line and, and propelling you towards and, you know, putting you in, in resonating with what you want, or it is not, it is stopping you from it in some way or another. So throughout the day, you want to watch your story. You want to watch your thoughts. Are they in line with your clear goal that you have? Are they not in line? Right. And you also want to be 100% in on your goal. You know, I remember I was manifesting something once and I was just like, ah, you know what, I really don't want to. I do and I don't, I do and I don't. Okay, well, you know, if I'm going back and forth, like I do and I don't, then, you know, my that right there, that's not a clear mental diet to actually, you know, this goal plan aim that I have. Do you know what I mean? So we want to be very clear and you want to focus on your goal. Like every day, you want to focus not on the, the stuff that isn't showing up, the lack the you know uh, the 3d you want to focus on what it's going to be like when you have it and when things pop into your reality so let's say you know I'm dating Jerry and I want to be in a committed relationship with him and then all of a sudden you know he cancels on a Friday night on me okay in that moment okay I need to be on my mental diet and not react to it but it's okay if you react to it but then I need to say to myself okay if I was in a relationship with Jerry and he canceled, what would my thoughts be right now? No big deal. I'm going to see him tomorrow or he'll even change his mind rather than, oh, this isn't working. He doesn't want to be with me. He's rejecting me. So you want to deal with everything that comes to you in your 3D from the mindset of you've already have what you want, right? If you already had what you want, what would your reaction be? Like, so, but even if you do react, that's fine. You just have to revise it after you've got to, you know, you can have your moment of, you know, having a reaction, but at some time you're going to have to stop that reaction and start focusing on, on what you want. Right. And, and letting all of that old stuff go. Do you know what I mean? Especially when it comes to recreating people, because everyone is you pushed out for you to get the person that you want, okay, you've got to let go of all of the story that doesn't serve, all of the, you know, past person that they were that you didn't like. You've got to let that go. The sooner you forget that they were that person and start seeing them as the new person, the quicker they're going to change to be that new person, okay? So a really good example of that would be like, let's say, for instance, Jerry's late picking me up, okay? So now I can create it that he doesn't respect me and that, you know what, he just, he's always late and it annoys me, okay? And, or I can look at it like, okay, Jerry's not normally late. This was a one-time thing and he's normally always picking me up on time and he's always going to be on time in the future, okay? Story number two, way more suits, you know, somebody being able to change and me seeing them in a different light rather than story one, you know, saying basically like, blah, you know, like <laughs> he doesn't respect me. Now I'm taking his actions personally when really I probably only created him to be late because I thought, oh, Jerry's going to be late today or I'm worried I'm going to be late. Right. And then giving an extra meaning. So, you know, that's the other tip that I have is don't take anything in your reality personally. Nothing's personal. OK, when you intend something like Jerry's going to be late, Jerry's just late because you thought it. This, you thought it. Every thought you have is an intention. It's not like, oh, okay, this one's positive, it's an intention, that one's not positive, it's not. No, the universe doesn't know which thought of yours is positive or negative or which one you want and don't want. All the universe knows is your thoughts are vibrating out there and it has to reflect them back to you. It's your job to steer your bus and to know which thoughts you want to entertain and which ones you don't want to entertain. So with that being said, when you see th thoughts reflecting back to you that you, you don't like, you don't want, don't take them personally. Avoid that. They were just a thought that you had and it showed, it showed up. It showed up. Great. Okay. It's there. No problem. It still works. What do I want instead? Because just as easily as you could create that, you can actually change that. Okay. So yeah, those are my tips for today. Get clear on what you want. Get crystal clear. Spend every day, at least once a day, you know, 
living in that end, you know, thinking about it, right? Putting some energy towards it, right? Be committed to it, okay? Decide, do you want it? Do you not want it? And if you do want it, you know, definitely revise the story if it's actually a relationship and you've got past history, you know, change, you know, what you've been seeing them as and change it into what you want, right? And never, 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 never take anything personally because everything is just a reflection of your thoughts, right? And everyone is you pushed out. So definitely guys do the little list of, you know, daily manifestations where that show you that everyone is you pushed out. Because when you do that, that really transforms, you know, your whole day, it transforms your life, because it's like, wow, you know what, everyone really is me pushed out. And I just need to be on top of my thoughts, and I can change anything. You know, I don't know who said this, but it's so true. It's like, I'm the problem, and I'm the solution. <laughs> you know, and a tip that I do, okay, when I'm actually manifesting something and I'm a little bit worried and stuff. I'm like, no, Amanda, you know what? You just need to be on top of your thoughts. Your thoughts will change anything because everyone has you pushed out. You're calm, you're enjoying your day and you're going to get what you want. And that's all there is to it. Right. And, and that's really, you know, the basis of it, right? Belief, trust, faith in your thoughts creating, because, you know, you do need to have that to a certain degree when you're manifesting something with resistance, when, you know, the, the waters get kind of rocky, right? So, but remember, every single thought creates everyone. You're always manifesting. You're always doing it. The only thing that we've got to do is decide which thoughts we want to entertain and which ones we don't. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.